So, apparently, Aaliyah is still rocking R. Kelly's boat from beyond the grave. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost, what's up party people, alright so, yeah, so, apparently, everything that can go wrong for R. Kelly is currently going wrong, alright so, for everybody that don't know, there was a marriage that happened with R. Kelly, wait, first of all, before we go any further, shout out to TMZ, actually, I got this story from TMZ, uh, that, that's where I'm reading it from, but anyway, back to what we're talking about, so, apparently, in, uh, 1994, there was a situation where R. Kelly is said to have wed an underage Aaliyah, now, okay, so, first of all, that's a crime in itself, just so we can be clear, <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to laugh about it because it ain't funny, but by itself, that's a crime. So, also, just so we can be clear, everybody that's out here talking about R. Kelly isn't trying to, uh, you know, sleep with young girls. He married Aaliyah when she was like 15. You can't be serious at this point. Okay, this isn't even, this isn't even a secret. This is, <laughs> like, this isn't a secret. Everybody knows this. Anyway, so apparently... What happened was, R. Kelly is now being charged with another crime. The feds are adding indictments. And this current indictment that's being added is basically R. Kelly is facing new allegations because they had to get fake paperwork made up in order to trick the courts. Or, what, you know, wherever they went and got the, the, the thing made at to get the marriage license. They had to trick those people. And the only way for them to successfully trick anyone was to get fake paperwork made up. So, uh, they have one of uh, R. Kelly's tour managers. His name is Demetrius Smith. He, and he actually spoke on the Surviving R. Kelly and said he purchased fake ID for Leah when she was 15 so she would be able to marry R. Kelly and the feds have decided to use this uh add this to the indictment now before we go any further I just want to acknowledge or should I say I just want to point out a couple of things for everybody that's like why the feds is gonna bring this up now that don't make no sense they just trying to throw extra stuff at R. Kelly they just trying to do this they just trying to do that isn't there a statute of limitations this thing happened 30 years ago before anybody goes anything on about did it happen 30 years? anyway not important before anybody goes on about that i just want to explain something to what the way court works they want to prove or should i say there are currently accusations out there that R. Kelly has had dalliances with underage minors. That's <laughs> redundant because <laughs> all minors are going to be underage. So what the hell? But had dalliances with minors is basically what the courts is going to be trying to prove. And the fact because remember this is a fact this is not a made-up story this isn't something that people are just throwing out there this isn't this is a fact r kelly married Aaliyah when she was 15 in 1994 what that does is that has a precedence precedence pardon me that creates a precedence that even in 1994 r kelly was having problems keeping his hands to himself when around little girls then they have the situation where R. Kelly had went to court because they had the, the videotapes of R. Kelly with the other girl that he was urinating on. Then they have all these other accusations. They're sh what they're doing is they're building up a, a chain of events so they can say, well, R. Kelly's been doing this 
since 1994. It's not something that he's going to stop doing this. If we let this man back out onto the street, he's going to be right back at that McDonald's across the street from the high school. Trying to find out if he could get some more girls to be inside of the, be in the alleyway to the building where he owns. Coincidentally, as weird as that sounds, that's literally what R. Kelly is also being accused of. He's also being accused of hanging out at the McDonald's next to the high school or the junior high school or wherever. And then having girls, young girls, meet him in the alley where the building, I think the building was actually seized um, a couple of months ago. They actually seized the building, I believe. He had, um, I know they got fined. I don't know if they seized it. But basically, he had a building that was supposed to be uh, for commercial use. But it also had like a residential or something like that. He got in trouble for that. They sued him or he got fined or I forgot what happened. But basically, there's a building where he's allegedly taking minors to and and. I guess shagging them I don't know whatever shout out to you know our people from across the pond that's basically what he's being accused of so when they show that R. Kelly or should I say when they have a Demetrius Smith who spoke out on the show surviving R. Kelly and he said that he personally I believe he said he personally did purchased fake ID for Leah when she was 15 so she can marry R. Kelly that creates so many problems for R. Kelly. Now, I get it. There's going to be quite a few people that are going to say, yo, they just coming after another black man. I get it. But for everybody that's saying they just picking on R. Kelly, did, any, did, did you at all think about them little girls that were turned into objects by a grown-ass man? I'm not going to harp on this because this is this is... The extremely serious part of this particular video for everyone that defends r kelly and swears up and down that he didn't do anything wrong are y'all thinking about these young girls that he preyed upon you know if these allegations are correct you see there's this one thing about people who have these type of perverted uh issues right there are always plenty of victims. There's always victims. Victims on top of victims. That's why, in my opinion, a person that lies and says that somebody is out there molesting children or a pedophile or some shit like that, them people are terrible. Because if, they, if, they, if you're an adult and they're out here and they had sex with one child, believe me, you. They're out there and they're searching for children to molest. And they're searching for children to sleep with. To accuse somebody of such a thing when they did not do it is, a, is, is not as despicable, but it is extremely despicable. So I say all that to say this. There are too many allegations against R. Kelly for anyone in my opinion that doesn't have some type of issue themselves with wanting to have sex with minors to ignore at this point even if you are an r kelly fan in my opinion you still have to acknowledge that that man has to have some kind of issue or some kind of problem to keep getting himself caught up in situations that even have the, 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 that even looks remotely like these issues that he's constantly getting caught up with. 1994, everybody knew that that man married Aaliyah. I don't know why nobody did anything about him back then. I mean, obviously, we know why nobody did nothing back about him back then. He was top of his game. He was putting out hits. And, you know, the decades after that, he continued to put out hits and, and write great songs for other people and, and make people millionaires on top of millionaires on top of millionaires. I didn't want to say billionaires because I don't know if he's actually made anyone a billionaire, but you get my point. There are a lot of people that let this man go prey on these women. 
Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think that the government should be able to use this, be able to indict him on uh, the fake paperwork that was created? Because that's what the indictment is about, I'm hearing. It's about the fake paperwork that was created, not the actual marrying of Aaliyah. Because that, that, the marriage to Aaliyah, the marriage to the minor, the statutes and limitations on that might have passed. But I'm guessing the fake paperwork that was made up, statutes on that hasn't. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.